Testing, one, two, testing, one, two. Oh boy, what happened here? Oh dear, oh dear, okay, there we go. Oh, can't forget this, this is important. You, sir, are a good boy. You. Very good, very good boy. What's that funny thing on your head, man? Just go with it, shh. Making a video. And you're the star, man. Got your food right down there. You're set and ready to rock, man. Done my pre-trip. Oh, we are in uh, Brandon, Manitoba, Canada. Dash cam is on and running. Alrighty. Looks like we're ready to a rock and a roll. A rock and a roll, right, Diesel? A rockin' and a rollin'. Do a little tug test here. And trailer won't fall off. That's good news. All right, off to Edmonton. We will be there late tonight, delivering tomorrow morning. Our wheels are turning. We are officially on duty. Tires and light the fires. We should be there in about 12 hours of driving. Maybe a little more. It may take my full 13 hours today. In Canada, I'm allowed to drive 13 hours in one day. I'm gonna need every one of them. It's gonna be fun. We're in Balgoni Baloney, Saskatchewan. That means we're on the prairies, and as you can see... Uh, what do you think I'm doing, Karen? As you can see, uh, a lot of our friends flying along the road decided to join us for today's video. They're on the road, uh, they're on the uh, windshield in front of you there. Uh, they wanted to make an Continue entrance. Continue on this road for 22 kilometers. I'm gonna turn left. Thanks, Karen. So we're gonna go to the... Uh, fuel pumps here grab some fuel grab some DEF that's a green light why am I slowing down to a stop green means go I'm gonna grab some fuel some DEF and grab a coffee can grab some food and walk a weasel we still got a long way to go we got about another eight hours of just driving but I gotta clean this windshield really flattered that all these bugs want to be a part of my life so much that they would fly Continue into my windshield road for six kilometers but uh, I really rather they didn't okay I believe all right we're good we're good I think you were supposed to wait for me to exit the road before you came onto the road but it worked out it worked out all right we're okay nice Kenworth off to the right here can you see past all the bugs very nice. From Ontario. Ontario. Oh, oh, this guy. Let's not run over this guy. Looks like, oh, he's got some pizza. Good for you, bud. Good for you. You enjoy your pizza. I'm sure you will. Flying Jay has all right pizza. So they could definitely improve the quality of it. Hey, where do we want to park? There's a whole bunch of people here all over the place, and they have three of the pumps closed. That's wonderful. No, four of them. There's another one closed over there. I guess we'll just wait for this guy. here in Chamberlain, Saskatchewan and had this great, great discovery. 
I bought a coffee back in Balgoni Bologna and totally forgot about it. And it's still hot. That's the best feeling ever. You're like, man, I wish I'd have a coffee right now. You look down, I have a coffee. Woo! See if I can get onto the road here now. A little bit of a busy road. For some reason, the four lane divided turns into a two lane road and we gotta sneak right through this tiny little town. But I guess it's keeping these businesses alive. So that's good. One more, look at this guy. Oh, this guy's got a heavy load. Oh, he's just flying into town. Dude, you're over 100,000 pounds and you're flying into a small little town. You need to slow down. job of my wipers there that's awful <laughs> and we can't fix it we can't get any better than that these wipers are terrible I need to get new ones they do more smearing than wiping so we're coming up to North Battleford Saskatchewan we're gonna cross over the river which is right over there and we're gonna be in Battleford the other one on the other side it's not South Battleford it's just Battleford this one's north. That one's just, I don't know. The, I don't know what's going on. I think North Battleford's bigger too. So I don't know why this one's not the original. It was obviously started down there, moved up here. I don't know what's going on. Nice boat. That would look great hooked up to my pickup. Very nice. I just wanna go back and get it. I wish, I wish I had time to go boating. I wish I had time to go to the lake. Oh, that'd be so wonderful. I'd love to be out on the water all summer, every day. But alas, we live in the real world where we have to work for everything we have and uh, where we have to work a lot. So here we are, putting down the road, doing our thing, bringing stuff from over there to over there. Somebody needs us. At least I feel needed, you know? So I still have uh, four hours to go yet. And I have, hey, hey, I don't have enough hours to get all the way there. I don't know where I'm gonna make it up to. I might only make it up to Lloydminster. I wanna make it further in Lloydminster, that's for sure. I have three hours and 22 minutes left on the clock. I think I get a few more hours once midnight hits central time. It's just the way our hours of service works up here in Canada, it's a little weird. You can only drive 13 hours a day, but it has to be within midnight and midnight of your central terminal time. So from midnight to midnight, I have 13 hours, but and if I drive past midnight, that's taking out of my 13 hours from the next 24 hour period. So I drove till 1.30 in the morning last night. So that means I can only drive 11 and a half hours today. But after midnight, I get an extra hour and a half if I want it. But then that comes out of my next 13 tomorrow. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Three kilometers, slide left on, Trans Canada Highway, Highway 16. Quiet, Karen. 
no one cares. You know, for those of you who think Saskatchewan is just a boring, flat province, you're partially right. You're partially right, but you are missing out on a lot of good scenery here, around North Battleford especially, and along the highway that goes up to Saskatoon and then out towards Lloydminster and this area here, you got that huge valley beside the highway. Gorgeous scenery out here and the wide open prairie sky is just something else, especially even for me when I when I go into different areas of the world that, uh, or different areas of the continent, I don't go around the whole world, I wish I did, uh, where there's less sky, like more mountains, more hills, and you come back home to the prairies and it's just, wow, the sunsets here. Can't beat them. Right, Diesel? Yeah, whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. Such a good boy. It's nap time for him because we stopped. All right, let's get back on the road. It'll be another nap time for him then because we're moving. What a life. It's the next morning here. We're about a half hour out of Edmonton. Oh, this guy did not see me coming. The guy didn't even look, didn't even check his mirror before he started rolling. I was right beside him and he still didn't check his mirror when he got to the end of the lot there and he cut right out in front of me. I had to slam on my brakes. Oh well. I guess we'll cut him some slack. What other choice do I have, right? I don't have enough energy to get angry right now. So what did I say, about a half hour outside of Edmonton, we're gonna make our delivery on time this morning. This is the next morning. And uh, head on over to our reload, which is also in Edmonton. I think they're expecting me there around one o'clock, but I'll show up there as soon as I can and see what they say. And then we head back home. So it was just a short trip. We've got more fertility stuff uh, going on this next weekend. So uh, gotta be home for that. Lots of, lots of things going on all the time. Lots of stuff going on. Life is never boring. You know, when I was a kid, I always thought everything was so boring. Now, I don't even have time to be bored. I wonder what it's like being bored, and I forget. Oh, I should've had a little nap. I unloaded already, and usually here at my reload, they take about 10 minutes, and I'm loaded. I've been here over an hour, so. Huh? Huh? They're going in and out of the trailer a lot. They must be putting a lot of little things in there because usually you can only fit, what, 22 pallets? Something like that. They've been in and out of there at least like 150 times. Oh, I almost fell asleep. I should have had a nap. Oh well. I think they may be done now. They're supposed to bring the paperwork out to me here. I'm not allowed inside there because of the sickness. So, uh, they're doing all the work. When they come out, we will start heading home. I'll be home tomorrow and I'll be home for a few days again. And then we will be working hard the rest of the month. I'll probably be gone the rest of August. Uh, but got a bunch of appointments this coming up weekend again. Got a family gathering, two family gatherings, I think. And we're going out for Britt's birthday. We're going tubing. Maybe I'll make a video out of that. I think that'll be pretty fun. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Anyways, I'm going to end this video here. We're going to start tomorrow's video. So I hope you join us. Trucking's always fun. That's a lie. Trucking is usually fun. Guess it depends on the day. <laughs>